exclusive. We've got power data coming from the team at Pursuit, which is absolutely incredible. I've never seen this before. Anyway, so we'll go. This is in the UCI World Cup event in Minsk at the moment. It's the fifth World Cup of the track season. And so we'll go down the men's team pursuit. It wasn't the strongest field, I'm, I'm not going to lie, but even so, the British team did very well. It was a trade team, actually, not the British national team. So you can see there's Poland, Belarus, they ordered about 405. I think the, record, the world record's like 350 something. Uh, it's low 350s. So they did a 356 in the final. Um, so Dan Bigham, Charlie Tanfield, Harry Tanfield, and John Whale. Dan Bigham's like a multiple UK national time trial champion. Charlie Tanfield rides for... Um, Ch uh, Canyon Iceberg, they're now called. Same with his brother, Harry Tanfield. I'm not sure much about Jonathan Whale. Uh, Charlie Tanfield had some good results. Came top, almost top 10 in the time trial in the Tour of Britain this year. And he also got a top 10 in the sprint as well. So anyway, we go over to his Strava and we have some power data, right? So you can see a lot of it is messing around. Um, but we'll analyze basically what happened. So this is the start. Um, so you can see he starts off pretty low cadence, 31. Gets it up to 1,200 watts. So he holds 1,200 watts for... A couple of seconds here, I believe. Yeah, so about 10 seconds he's holding sort of 1,100 watts, which is pretty insane. I can't even do that fresh. Um, so he does that fresh, right? He, I believe he's normally about third wheel. He then settles down into a solid rhythm about 900 watts, just turning it over, getting up to the cadence. Uh, so you can see once the, once his cadence is there, he's about 110 cadence pretty much all the way around. Obviously, it changes depending on the speed. Um, and so normally in the team pursuit, what happens is that you'll get riders that they go to the front, they surge, they push it up, and then they they t swing up, they sort of drop their power, obviously, and then come back into the line. So there are, obviously it's a pretty stochastic event. Um, so you can see here, he's sort of seeing 700 watts on the front, then recovers, and then it's basically doing 700 watts on the front every time he gets to the front. Um, so you can see these these little ones as when he's at the front doing 700 watts. Unfortunately, we don't have any speed, uh, but they're doing around 60 k's an hour, pretty much. So if we go into the power profile, you can see some pretty interesting things. So you need to be able to hold... 1,200 watts at the beginning for 7 seconds. Uh, watts per kilo is pretty much irrelevant on this because the error effect is more important. Um, so you can see he held 848 watts, which is probably, yeah, for the first lap. So that's insane. Um, so for that sort of amount of period of time, which is, what, 30 seconds holding 800 watts, and then after holding that, getting into pulling some strong turns. Um, so you can see he did 600, 600 watts for 1 minute 20 and then basically held it, it pretty, gets pretty smooth, and at the end, obviously, there's a big push. So for the whole sort of 355, whatever it was, he held about 531 watts, which is absolutely insane. But it's, like, just holding that number, but let alone doing all the surges on the front at, like, 600 watts, then recovering in the wheel. Oh, it's just, it's just crazy. Like, it's just, like, I don't, it's hard to, hard to say how hard it is. Um to do that until you've been in the team pursuit and you've been struggling um so we can look at the team pursuit wattage um and there's actually a scientific paper i believe which is done on it um oh yeah here we go racing cyclist power requirements in the 4000 meter individual and team time trial so this is a really useful paper um that's basically done um it's done 996 so obviously it's a bit old uh, but it's quite incredible just to see the draft so the average person does about 600 watts in the lead position so you, that, that's pretty consistent uh, Harry Tanfield was doing about, you can see here when we zoom into some of his data here, he's doing, yeah, like 700, 600 watts probably, probably surges up a little bit and then, um, and then it sort of decreases, right, so 60 k's an hour, 600 watts in the lead position, then you, you, you're only doing 430 in the wheel, which for most people is like full gas, then it's 390, th and then 390 in the fourth position, so like, if you were just sitting at the back for four minutes, you could probably do 390 watts for four minutes, like the average person. I can I can do around 3, 380, 370 for four minutes. So I, I could almost hold on probably. Um, so it's just just quite crazy to be honest, like how much draft they have. But obviously, um, so it's saying if you want to do that, like the four the four K pursuit, you need to do about 520 watts, um, which is probably yeah similar to what we've seen here because uh, obviously. He, uh, Harry Tanfield did 530 watts average, but obviously that's um, that's including the surges and whatever. But anyway, that's that's still insane, um, like crazy, crazy. So you can see here the speed, the lap times they're doing. Um, they basically like just set off in the beginning and beat the Lok Lok Lokovinsk team uh, from the off, basically. Um, actually, no, the second lap was a bit slower, but then, but when it comes to like five laps to go or whatever they were easily ahead um i know were they 
Yeah, yeah, they were. Sorry, I thought I said 26. But anyway, so cheers for watching. It's pretty insane the power these people are doing. Uh, it, also, the technical aspects of the team pursuit is also very hard, like making sure that you don't waste too much energy. Um, it's really good that he's posted his power data. I'm super happy. It's annoying because his brother did the individual pursuit, but he didn't post his power data or any data, actually, to be honest. Um, but this is great information. If you want me to do more on track cycling, I can do that. Fortunately, there's no video footage, as YouTube has, it doesn't seem to have any, and the UCI is just useless at general life. Um, but when that comes available, I'll probably put it on. Uh, yeah, so cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next vid.